Turning our sights to North Korea, the regime is putting the last-minute touches on what is expected to be a grand military parade in Pyongyang on Saturday to mark the 70th anniversary of its ruling Workers' Party. According to our Kim Hyun bin the regime will almost certainly flaunt its latest weaponry, which may include a submarine-launched ballistic missile and an intercontinental ballistic missile, before a very important guest from China. Take a look. North Korea has a history of revealing new weaponry at its military parades. In April 2012, Pyongyang unveiled its KN-08 intercontinental ballistic missile for the first time. In 2013, the North paraded what is said were miniaturized nuclear weapons inside backpacks. Although it was widely discredited by military experts, the parade on Saturday is likely to see another form of weaponry, real or not, make its military debut. Experts are focused on whether North Korea will roll out miniaturized nuclear warheads which the regime claims to have developed. They are also looking out for evidence North Korea has submarine-launched ballistic missiles that Pyongyang claimed to have successfully tested in May. The missiles could be tipped with a nuclear warhead. If the North had the technical ability to do that, it would represent a dangerous new security threat to the South. North Korea will likely display its KN-09 cruise missile, which has a range of up to 200 kilometers. If fired from the border, Seoul and South Korea's military headquarters in Taejeon will be well within its range. The North's K-09 could strike most of our military's runways. Without this ability, North Korea's conventional weapons could potentially overpower us in a conflict scenario. Meanwhile, Liu Wen-sun, China's fifth-in-command, arrived in Pyongyang on Friday to take part in the anniversary ceremony. Liu led the Chinese delegation and is scheduled to stay for four days to meet with North Korean officials and exchange views on bilateral relations. This is the first time since 2011 for a member of the Chinese Communist Party's Politburo Standing Committee to visit North Korea. Diplomatic sources in Beijing expect Kim Jong-un to meet with Liu, but experts say it remains unclear if the encounter will help Pyongyang-Beijing relations. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.